Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. You can actually still hear Bram Kreis as she gets a massive welcome in Lauren part of Quora State. And she shared this on her official social media platform. Nigerians are reacting to this. In the short clip she shared, she was welcomed by a crowd and also people from Demo Surprises. And she was reading out what was on the card and during this, she started crying. She got emotional. And in the card, they stated that she has shown them over the years that change does not just come immediately. It is a gradual process and they're allowed to grow. And they also thanked her for being a great mentor. As she was reading this, she had goosebumps all over her. And with a whole the show of love, Tony Hebron was all emotional. People are reacting to this as she shed some tears. And they're saying this is beautiful to watch. It is amazing. She's loved and her humility is drawing people close to her. She should not stop being humble. This was when she had a meet and greet at the lowering part of Quara State. For her movie, The Ghost and the Taut 2, which is her latest movie. And she has actually said that The Ghost and the Taut 2 has surpassed her last performance, even within a shorter period of time. Toy Abram is one of the movie stars who have outstanding success with their movies and cinemas. And this is not an exception. In fact, it has done better than our previous films. Over time, Queen Hebram has grown a large fan base. In fact, she has one of the massive following on Instagram. At the moment, she has a total of 7.2 million followers on her Instagram alone. She is one of the most influential celebrities we have in Nigeria. Not just because she's a box office queen or because of her acting powers, but also she tries to touch lives positively, lives of her fans and followers. If you want to know more about this type of actress, even though she needs no introduction in the movie industry, please stay with us for a short and interesting biography of Joey Abraham. Joey Abraham is a star Yoruba actress, filmmaker, producer and a director. She made a directing debut this year in 20. 21. She has been active in the movie industry since the year 2003 and she is one of the star Yoruba actresses. Tony is known for being a box office and also known for featuring in top movies in the Nigerian movie industry. And these are some of the movies she has featured in over the years. The Therapist, Ghost and the Tower 2, Iggy, The Prophetess, Fate of Alakada, Dear Afi, Small Chops, Elevator Baby, Don't Get Mad, Get Eva, Made in Heaven, Two Weeks in Lagos, the Millions, Casanova, Bling Ligotians, Nimbi, Diamonds in the Sky, The Ghost and the Touts, Seven and a Half Dates, These Guys, What Just Happened, The Lakada Loaded, SOE, Akunde Mentally, Tattoo, London Fever, Rise and Stride Revolution, Celebrity Marriage, Okafor's Law, What Makes You Think, Loves in the Hair, Alanimba Balabake, Bimini, Alakada, Shalafe Kwami, and Shadow Parties, just to mention a few of them. Even though many sources state that she was born and bred in Ibada, however, she was born in Aochi part of Edo State. But then she grew up in Ibada, New York State, when her father retired. Her father, B. Aimaku, who was a staff of the Ibu organization. When he retired, the entire family moved to Ibada, where she spent most of her early life. Her mother is a pastor. Don Hebram started her education first in Benin at Obakenzo Nodran Primary School but could not finish before her father retired and continued at the Queen Star School in Ibadan. Thereafter, she enrolled at St. Anne's School in Ibadan, where she completed her secondary school education. In 2005, Twain got admission to Oshun State Polytechnic in Iwe, where she had her ordinary national diploma. She proceeded to Ibalo Polytechnic, where she obtained a high national diploma in marketing. She furthered at Olabi Sonobad University, where she backed a degree in philosophy. So he has four siblings. She's the last child of the family. She has three sisters and an older brother. On how she joined the movie industry, well, it, she joined the movie industry in the year 2003, but then she didn't take it up until the year 2004 and 2005. It was whilst Bookie Wright was filming a movie in the battle. So he went on set to help them. But then, one of the actresses did not show up that day and she was asked to fill in for this actress and she performed excellently for that movie room. That was how her journey started in the movie industry. But then she didn't take it up professionally as mentioned earlier until between 2004 and 2005. She continued attending auditions and from there she started getting minor roles and later on she got big roles. Subsequently, she rose to stardom. As she grew in the movie industry, she started producing her own movies. The very first movie she produced was Alajota. She also had plans to produce Alajota Reloaded. 
Toye has grown over the years to become one of the biggest brands we have in the Nigerian movie industry. And she has worked with almost all the top actors and the actresses we have. She's not relenting, she has been consistent in making a name for herself and working vigorously on her brands. And over the years, she has had several awards and nominations. In fact, she was nominated for Best Supporting Actress, Rebecca Category, Farouli in the Bimini, Best Honor Award Awards 2013. She was also nominated for Best Actress in the Supporting Role, Farouli in the Sui, Africa Movie Academy Award, TMB 2018. And also Best Actress in the Supporting Role, Farouli in Diamond in the Sky, English Category, Best Honor Award 2019, just to mention a few of them. And some of the awards in the possession include Best Actress, Farouli in Alakada, Ben TV Awards 2014. The Best Indigenous Actress, Nigerian Entertainment Awards 24. The Best Supporting Actress, Future Film, for a role in the the Five Continent International Film Festival 2017. Best Actress in Hollywood, Mokli All Youth Awards, Maya 2017. The Best Female Act, Nigerian Entertainment Awards, NEA 2017. Best Actress, for a role in Alakara Reloaded, Exclusive to Lead of the Year, LO 2017. Best Supporting Actress, for a role in Tattoo, Africa Magic Awards, TMVC 2018. Best Actress in Africa. Africa Magic Awards Choice Awards, MVC 2020, and Best Actress of the Year, Africa Choice Awards, just to mention a few of them. Apart from all this, she's also an entrepreneur. In October 2019, she officially launched the herbal medicine business, Twin Herbal, a subsidiary of Twin Herbal Company. This was shortly after she revealed how challenging her journey was to motherhood. She said she had done a lot of things before she finally became pregnant when she was almost 40 years old. And she does not shy away from sharing this testimony with the whole world. This was when she got pregnant with her son, Iwiolua Ajiyemi. She also gave birth to her son in 2019, Iwiolua. Toyin is the CEO also of Cuffs Limited by Toyin, Tukitila by Toyin, Plusher by Toyin, and Body Talk by Toyin. In addition to her being one of Nigeria's biggest social influences. And she is well loved not just because of her craft as mentioned earlier, but also because of her personality. And so many people even love her also because of her family. She is happily married to the Yuba actor, director and producer. Kolawole Ajiemi. Kolawole Ajiemi is a senior colleague of Toyin Abraham and together they have a son Iwilu Ajiemi but then Toyin says that she's a mother to two kids not just to her biological son but also to her stepdaughter as Kolawole was a single father before he finally tied the knot with Toyin Abraham. This is a little bit about the style of actress Toyin Abraham. Welcome to the end of this episode where Toyin Abraham was literally moved to tears as she cries after getting a massive welcome in the lorry and she was moved with all the love. Nigerians we had, people are saying that this is beautiful to watch, she's amazing, she's loved, our humility is drawing people close to her and she should not stop being humble. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let's want to tune new things, subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.